Hey, the Mono X here. Sorry about the lighting. My other camera's battery is charging, so I have to use a webcam, and I don't have a lamp here to show off my facial features. It's not like that's much of a loss because, well, my face ain't appealing to many people in the world except my wife and maybe the people who are my friends. Anywho, the reason why I came on camera today is for a couple things. One, I want to offer my condolences to the fans and family of Macho Man Randy Savage. He was an iconic member of wrestling and he earned his status outright. He is truly a legend in every way imaginable. I was sad to hear about his death by heart attack followed by a car crash. His wife sustained little injury, but Macho Man didn't make it. I mean, I understand he was up there in age, but you know, gotta commend him though, because most wrestlers prior to his prime died from uh, drug overdose or drug related instances. And it's pretty depressing when you hear one of your favorite childhood icons passes away. I was very shocked when I heard he died. I thought it was a joke. But then when I started look, viewing Google and looking at Google and seeing the, all the results about him, him dying, I just face palmed and I mean, I cried a little bit because he was one of my favorite wrestlers as a kid. Along with um, Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior. Those were all like my absolute favorites. I even like Brutus the Barber Beefcake. He was he was a character. The Heart Foundation. That's when I really enjoyed wrestling. Up until about 97, I, I just stopped watching it. Because it became stupid. I mean, you don't have to take my opinion to heart. A lot of people have their own opinions towards wrestling today. But I simply can't watch it. It's crap. The icons I have today are fucking poser boys of those of my generation, and the plot lines are so predictable, it's hilarious. Wrestling has been dubbed the soap opera of for men, and rightfully so, because everything, plot lines and such, proved to be part of that in which has been uh, discussed through the media airwaves. It's it's just a clusterfuck. <laughs> I, I, I seriously can't. I don't want nothing to do with wrestling today. I don't watch wrestling today. I don't play the video games. But, except I tried that new one for the Wii, the All-Stars one. I guess it's a port or an original take on the one that came out for PS3 and Xbox. The Legends one where you can play as Andre the Giant and a few other people. And, you know, let's be honest... The N64 wrestlers were probably the last enjoyable generation when it comes to wrestling games. But you have your opinion. Anyways, this isn't about games. I kind of get sidetracked with topics. I'm on the hand. This is about the man, the Slim Jim sponsor, Macho Man Randy Savage. He inspired me as a kid. When I was playing wrestling with my brother, I always been Macho Man Randy Savage. When I played the awful, god-awful Nintendo game, WrestleMania, bigger, better, and better, I always played as Macho Man. And the games that came, like Challenge, and, and, and uh, Super WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, and Raw, the 16-bit wrestlers, <laughs> he was always on, well, he wasn't in Raw, I don't, no, he wasn't. But the games prior to that, he was picked, and I used him as part of my roster of characters like with five a tag team I always pick Hulk Hogan and Randy Savage because those were my most favorite them two made the most excellent tag team of all time I also like the Heart Foundation they were cool Legion of Doom I remember when uh, I think Hawk's the one that yeah Hawk died and that was pretty that hit me pretty hard too you know it's just amazing how all these wrestlers that we know from our childhood just pass one after another and it's depressing because we look up at these people as idols or people that are just flat out cool because of their ability to handle such physical damage from other wrestlers that they are in the ring with hang on a second
I just had to take my dra drag. Sorry about that. And, uh, well, it, it's hard to put in words because it's just hard to think that one of my favorite wrestlers is now gone. I mean, he was that. <laughs> him and Hulk Hogan and Hawk were like the biggest fans. Of, I mean, they were like the biggest icons for me back during the days when I watched wrestling. And it's a sad day. Well, when that happened, it was a sad day. And it's still gone. It's sad that he's you know gone away. I just hope he's with Elizabeth and they're having fun in the afterlife. May you rest in peace, Macho Man Randy Savage. You were a big impact on my life and everyone who enjoyed wrestling's life. And I just hope where, wherever you ended up at, you're happy. You're looking either up at us or down at us. And realize that a lot of people loved and cared about you. And it's a shame you're gone. But time takes away everything. There's nothing you can do about it. And we'll miss you. That's for sure. Well, the next blog topic I'm going to upload. Because I want it separate from this one. Some people have asked me about the death of Osama Bin Laden and how I feel about it. I will just close that next vlog after I upload this one. So, because I, like I said, I want this to be separate from my tribute and respect to Macho Man Randy Savage. I'm sorry I got late to the party, but hey, the Big D is busy. He's got a lot of stuff he's got to do. And, there's a never-ending barrage of things I still have to complete. But, anyways, I hope you all have a good night. Look out for the Osama Bin Laden blog. And I'll let you know how I feel about his death and, and whatnot. So, keep watching. Take care.